camera. And you can see my screen. Perfect. It should be loading. Your cam. There you are. That gorgeous bold face. <laughs> All right. Well, I, know, I don't know how you Canadians do it. <laughs> Lord Drew, howdy. Shout out to Lord Drew. Ah. We played downtown from like 10 a.m. till like I don't even know what time. We can't hear Lyle. Apparently, Lord Drew saying. No, no. Uh, why would that be? Okay, well, that's good because he's been spewing some pretty racist shit. What? <laughs> uh, you should be able to hear him. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, it's showing up on my thing. Okay, maybe Drew can't hear. <laughs> maybe it's uh, maybe there's like a Canadian region lock or something. Oh, Lachlan with the dab. Here we go. Cassidy Cubone's here. It was Bray fine. Is here. Uh, Lachlan's here. Um. So, I have switched to Great Leap, mm -hmm. and I am currently running a team of Shadow, Gator, um, Guzzlord, and Big, and I'm liking mm -hmm. it. I think it's doing all right. Did get a 5-0 this morning. I um, beat Nyan Kake. I think he was a Worlds competitor, right? I've heard of him. You heard, yeah, yeah. The name sounded familiar. Um, He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And but like, it was more team comp than anything. Like it was his uh, Giratina into my Vig in the back. Uh huh. Oh, so you had the Vig? Yeah. Wait, are you running the team I suggested to you? Uh, it was the what Dragonair, Vig, and yeah, and Gator. Yep. Um, just running Guzzlord instead of Dragonair. Guzzlord, that's weird. I like it. Guzzlord's fire. <laughs> like, Guzzlord's so good. Dragonair is better than Guzzlord. It's alright. Jira, not Jira. I mean, he's literally the same shit. I don't know what you're <laughs> fucking popping off of that there. Well, there, there are official pronunciations. This is something, like, I've learned through discussing with DeFi. Yeah, like, that, they've got... Like, they've got people making sure you're pronouncing all the, the Pokemon the correct way. So, that's why, yeah, you hear all the casters saying, like, Drapion and Ferrothorn. It feels so gross. You ever have a... I'm just doing, like, one or two battles here... Mm -hmm. You guys ever had a uh, ever had a Bastidon counter swap your Vigor off save swap? I don't think so. Has that happened? Yes. I mean, it's definitely a loss for Basti, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, they just top left. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I led the uh, I led the my Gator into a Shadow Vic, and I was debating save swapping the Dragonair. I'm like. They're not gonna expect me to save swap a Vigoroth here, and I just and then like they must have thought it was a Lickitung or something because they just came right in with Basti, <laughs> and um, they shielded the Rock Slide, and then they proceeded to get completely farmed down after. And I was I was at like <laughs> literally a hundred energy. Yeah. And then they top left. So. <laughs> How did they think you were gonna play it? I don't know. Maybe they thought I was gonna throw another Rock Slide, and you know, maybe they thought I was gonna let it go and just take shield advantage. Maybe. I don't know. Now there, there has been, uh, like, that's a decent guess. Like, uh, there's been times that I've, um, like, gone. Okay, well, to to win this, I need to like bait or get them to like make this dumb move, like force an error, and they don't. And I'm like, well, that's it, game over. 
Well, I, I, yesterday I was battling someone when I was streaming, and I, it was literally like an, my uh, for alligator and Annihilate, and they safe swap Dugong. And I was like, let me click on this Dragonair. And then I was like, okay, let me click on the top left button. Like, <laughs> so I just lost switch, and then and then I put my and then I'm like, okay, well now the annihilate's on my vigor off, so uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna just top left this battle. <laughs> Worst feeling. Yeah. Like, is, is there any yeah. hard count, harder counter than annihilate? And vigor off. Yeah. Like, I mean, Lickitung into Giratina or something like that. Yeah. Is pretty yeah, damn that's bad. Pretty, but pretty bloody bad. Um, yeah, something like that. I think, uh, like, the the knocked owl into Trev was cat. not as bad as what uh, Annihilate into Vig is. Mm -hmm. Knocked owl on the what? Trev? You don't Trev. think so? I don't, yeah, um, let's, let's, let's find out. Like, how much It was the same damage. shit, you just, like, full farm them down. Yeah. Can, can you full farm With, like, 100 them? energy. I mean, used to. The thing is, wing attack does less damage than counter. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, I mean, that might even be helpful for knocked out. No, just no, get no. more was, energy out of it. It was, it was the same thing. It was. Oh shit! I just hit lucky friends with one of my buddy. Through a battle. No, no. Um, he probably opened my gift yeah, or something, right. and like he's been trying to get lucky friend. Like we've been trying to get lucky friends for like a while. Sly Frick, he probably jumps yep. in the stream every once in a while. Yeah, so. I know the dude. Um, yeah, so, um, Warrior says, what think do you that... think of Shadow Dragonite? This is for Open Great League, or is it is it eligible for this cup Zodiac? I don't think so. Uh, um. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's Shadow Dragonite. Oh, it is eligible. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We haven't looked at the meta yet. Mm. Yeah, we usually, uh, for those who haven't been here before, we usually just like chill for 10 minutes for people to come in. How many Pokemon are there in this meta? Because I know it's like a whitelist, right? Yeah, 51 of them. Okay, what's the worst Pokemon? The worst Pokemon is Starmie. Starmie. Okay. And then Ursaluna. God damn, Ursaluna gets clapped. <laughs> That's a shame. I like Ursaluna. Gold Duck. I like Gold Duck. I'm a big Gold Duck supporter. One of those ones that I think does better than the Sim suggest. I mean, maybe it's better with Water Gun. Like, you know? Would it be, though? I don't know. How much. I mean, there's a lot of psychics at the top of this meta, if I went the way I looked yeah, at it true. previously. Like, I was just looking at it here, like, just briefly. Um, well, it's two psychics, and one of them isn't resisting psychic. Yeah, but then you have Frostlass here. Excadrill is apparently pretty highly ranked. Excadrill would have gotten to be, be better for that, sure. Hmm. Yeah, so anyway, we're, we're uh, GVL's been pretty good, though, for the mm -hmm. most part. Uh, did a stream last night, so if you want to see some of those. Yo, thanks hey, for the Hey, Zion, with the gifted sub. Let's go. Oh, it was a gifted sub. Sorry, I thought uh, Wildcat subscribed. Hey, Wildcat? Where'd, where'd you get Wildcat from? Oh, right. I gifted, saw oh, Zion gifted a bunch of... Sorry, I just saw the bottom one. Five, five subs. Thank you so much, Oh, Zion. damn. Appreciate that. Yeah, the I think that team's pretty strong. There is some things that are kind of annoying for it, but like over like overall, I'd say I'm mostly going positive with the team. So, mm -hmm. um, and I prefer Dragonair because it's a little better into some of the steals mm -hmm. with the and a Gligar. Like, like that that buffed Aqua Tail is no joke. Like it's actually yeah. a pretty decent matchup now versus the regular Gligar with that extra Aqua Tail uh, mm -hmm. damage. Um, so right now I am I haven't been using this team the whole time, but I just capped on sets. I'm like I'm maybe like thirteen wins into rank eighteen right now. Thirteen, fourteen wins into rank eighteen. Nice. So I probably will hit rank nineteen tomorrow because I believe I just need twenty. Um yeah. Yeah, nice work. 
Um, pretty pretty solid. With that Dragon Air Gligar matchup you were talking about, didn't the Gligar have to shield all the Aqua Tails anyway? Because otherwise it would just get farmed down by the, the Dragon um, Breast. Yeah, but it, but the one shield was like, for regular Gligar, wasn't that bad. Yeah, okay. Because the outpacing. regular Gligar used to be able to take uh, Aqua Tail a little better. Like the you I what I found is like with this with these like small buffs of like five damage mm. you don't notice it as much in like neutral scenarios yeah but when the the move is super effective it's like way more noticeable yeah, you know that like, makes sense yeah like even versus Bastidon and like Carbink and shit I've noticed like the Aqua Tails are really chunking from like I put in a lot of work against like a Bastidon like two Aqua Tails plus Dragon Breast like KO a Basti now wow it's pretty nice wow yeah. Dinar is really decent in the Basti. Like, I had, like, one game with, like, I was able to over-farm versus a Basti because they still had a shield and, like, come out with enough and, like, KO their Basti and come out with a move so I could CMP their own Dragonair, too. So, um, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. And uh, Dominic Allen just subscribed on YouTube. Thank you very much for the sub. Well, we're we're 11 minutes in. Do you want to... Sure. Do you want to shoot into it? Okay, Dragonair wins. The, Shadow Dragonair just wins the one shield against Basti. That's pretty wild. The two shield, um, you just get farmed down yeah. because you don't quite you make that but yeah, final yeah, aqua tail. But like just like a, a couple of dragon breasts lead would flip that, right? Yeah, and you also could at least force two shields from them, right? Mm. So, um, okay, let's jump into this meta. What is this meta called again? The Zodiac. <laughs> Zodiac Cup. Let me see if I can find the official um, thing from the Devon Corp. Tell you what, I will um, send you the image and I then put it. it up on the screen. It. You got it? Okay. So. There's only what? 40 Pokemon? Is there 40 or 70? How many 51, was there? 51, I thought I counted. Is there, there 51 on this seven, sheet here? Seven per row. Seven rows. And then the extra okay. two down the bottom there. Oh, Damn, active bro. notes recently completed on the website. Of course, yeah. Shadow versions of each of those are eligible. So, like, there's, I think, I saw 79 Pokemon listed on the. Oh, PDP. right. Some shadows. Yeah. It makes sense. 51 species. Right, right, right. 50 must be approved Pokemon, Shadow Pokemon are allowed. Um, it's interesting, like obviously Gallade got like a pretty big increase mm. and you can see it's like pretty highly ranked. Um Cresselia's also like pretty highly mm -hmm. unranked. Funny man, hey. Um so yeah, Cresselia here. Kind of does pretty decently in the Galade. Hey, hey. Um but that would be the first thing I, I take a look at is how do you beat Cresselia? I would wonder how do you beat Cresselia and Galade? And Galade? Because what how do those two go together? They're just like insane. <laughs> like Galade just puts in work against a lot of things. Technically Mew beats both them, so that's something to consider. Let's uh let's look at the Shadow Glade first. I think that was higher rated, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very slightly, very slightly yeah. higher rated. Okay, so Jump Luff beats both. Jump Luff would be a super hard wall. I mean to Glade, yes, but yeah, to yeah. um Cresselia is a lot more even. Cresselia, it's like neutral. It's just, it's got better, it's got like a better stab charge moves, right? The the jump bluff, yeah. Oh no, the Chris, uh, yeah. against the Cresselia. Yeah, against yeah, the Cresselia. Yeah. Like acrobatics and, and whatnot, right? Well, I mean, uh, the, is, is Cresselia running Moonblast here or Future Sight? Uh, they said Moonblast. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you definitely only need the Moonblast or the Gallade. I'm just thinking about against, um, Jumpluff. 
Well, what do you attack with Moonblast? You attack dark types, right? And and the Glide as well. Yeah, yeah, so dark. Well, but like with most fighting types, you can hit with uh you can also hit with future sight, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think I don't think Glade's surviving a future sight, I'm not gonna lie. No. So Shit, no. I don't think it really necessarily matters there. It's mainly just the dark types that you need coverage for. Mm -hmm. So if you look here, there's quite a few. There's quite a few dark poisons yeah. in the meta. You have um, Malamar, you have Zwilus, um, Pangoro is a dark type. So these types of things you definitely like would want Future Sight, or uh, sorry, Moonblast for, since you would actually be able to like basically one hit it. So. Um... Um... Uh, Dominic is uh, adjusting Frostlass with Crunch, and Bunnyman says Sneasler with seven shields beats both. Yeah. Um, Crunch, Frostlass, I just... I don't know. I'm not, like, a big fan of Crunch, Frostlass. Mm -hmm. Just because it just lacks... It just doesn't do what Frostlass is supposed to do, which is, like, put out a lot of damage on things. Like, what do you really need Crunch mm -hmm. for? Like, Crunch only hits... Um... Like, what does it hit that Shadow Ball doesn't? Yeah, that's that's the weird thing about, like, Ghost and Dark, is that they're so similar in what they're super effective against and, uh, and Yeah, resisting. because Frostless just has, like, such great coverage with Avalanche and Shadow Ball that, like, you really don't need um, Crunch, in my opinion. Mm. Uh, uh, Zion brings up a good point that it helps in the mirror. Does it, though? Because, like, Frostlass doesn't... Like, a Crunch doesn't KO a Frostlass. Alright, so, let me bring that up. That's that's all, always the thing, is, like, you're you're gonna need two Crunches, then, so I don't think it really does help in the mirror, unless you're running Hex. Hex, But yeah. I, I think it's just kind of... At that point, you're defeating the purpose of running Frostlass. Uh, and, like, you need... Dude, like, I'm telling you right now... The Cresselia matchup versus Frostlass is not as comfortable as you think it should be. No, like, I, I'm with if, you there. If you give Cresselia like a slight energy lead, it is really freaking annoying because it can survive a Shadow Ball. It does not need to shield it. Like, look at the battle rating is 324 mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Shadow Ball only does 60% to Cresselia. So, like, if you put Crunch on here... You still you still win, but you need to throw two moves instead of one. So if you I'm start looking like more and more reason to run hex though. Extra farm on Cresselia, extra farm on Gallade, uh, the ability no, no, to beat want... Frostlass. No, 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 you're you're coping. There's <laughs> a lot of normal types in this meta. There's a lot of uh, there's going to be quite a bit of dark types in this meta. There's I, not a heap of normal types. Frostlass yeah, is types. perfect to say this, okay? Everyone needs to stop fucking <laughs> trying to fuck with Frostlass, okay? It is the perfect yeah, specimen of a Pokemon. Gotta think outside the box sometimes, Lyle. Nope. No, <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't do that Lyle's here. Lyle's perfectly happy in his box. My box is fine, okay? Everyone needs to calm the fuck down. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Zion's, Zion's a fan of Crunch as well. Okay, well, you can run Crunch if you want. <laughs> uh, no, I'm definitely running Shadow Ball. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to one-hit things. Um, okay, so uh, in the mirror then, if we go Hex Crunch versus Powder Snow Shadow Ball. Okay, Hex Crunch, sure. But if you're running Powder Snow Crunch, I don't think it helps you in the mirror. No. No. So you are you're still losing the zeros. Are you winning the ones and twos? But there's like a lot of things that Frostlass has play into, like that you just lose with that moveset, mm -hmm. right? Like if you look at all the normal and dark types, like you have a lot of the Munchlax, Greedent are basically top 10. Quillfish, Beware, Snorlax. And I think anything with Shadow Claw or like a ghost type fast move is going to be pretty solid in this meta. If we just uh... look at like a, a ghost. So, uh, Zion saying Crunch Shadow Ball, not Crunch Avalanche, not, uh, yeah, not Avalanche Crunch. Does I that mean, change no. your thinking at all? <laughs> that does not. That makes me think something else. Um, 
Um, I mean, have... Avalanche is like basically one of the best moves in the game, it and is. you're getting stabbed from it. Um, so I don't. And then now you're get you, you would be basically getting completely walled by all the dark types. Like the fact that yeah. Frostlass can like put up like a really good fight against Hik like look at Frostlass beats Hisu and Quillfish. Isn't it nice to have your ghost type also be able to fight back against mm. other dark types in the meta? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, speaking of things that beat both Gallade and Cresselia, this thing looks pretty intense. The Hisu and Quillfish? Yeah, look at this battle rating with Gallade. That's with poison jab. Okay, for some reason they're not throwing the close combat here. I have no idea why they wouldn't. Yeah, this is like, a weird I imagine a, a very... close combat would almost one shot. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't. You quite. just survive and the Saku cards are doing bugger all. Bugger all? What the hell is that supposed to mean? That's, <laughs> that's an Australian thing, meaning zero. Nothing. No. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's actually not that. It's not as good as I thought it was going to be, but Glade just too fast, man. It's too fast. That's why I'm saying anything that you can get to do deal like fast move damage against it um, could be pretty important. Like Snorlax has, has Lick, uh, Perserker. Mew, I think, could be really strong mm -hmm. in this meta. I'm liking Mew a lot. And you, you this one, you do have the Watch option of Dragon Claw. They're saying Dragon Claw. I'm not sure if that's exactly what you want, but um, Wild Charge is like pretty much typically always a thing you run on Mew because it's it's one of the most energy yeah. efficient moves it has, right? Totally. And it's and it's pretty low energy, and it hits just really hard it's neutrally. So um, um, yeah, you have a lot of options here. I guess you could run like. Um, Surf is the other typical one that people run. Um, maybe you could run like a Flame Charge if you want to get crazy with it. I don't know. Aridos from Bunny Man. That's a good cool breaker. Mm -hmm. Well, if Cress isn't running Future Sight, which seems like it's going to be decently uh, the way it's supposed to come up with, then. Um, then uh, what you're saying you could, you kind of like, would be better i said if it isn't but yeah that's what i'm saying yeah, i right, like right. moonblast but if if the meta revolves around crest not running mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. although the one thing i will say about devon like my only gripe is that i don't understand why these formats haven't gravitated towards open team sheets like you can't tam your moves between rounds mm -hmm. right that's right so then why wouldn't the team sheets be open Good question. That is a discussion that has been had in the, in the uh, I mean, referees channels. I mean, I haven't been involved in those discussions. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just curious. It doesn't make sense to me, but I mean, because you don't know if you're the Aridos player, like that. You know, maybe if that Cresselia switches out on you, but they're probably going to get a shield from you at least in one of the earlier battles, mm. even if they aren't running it. But um, it says here the, bat the battle's still pretty close with Moonblast. <laughs> because I guess the psycho is. cuts are doing that much. Um, well, th in interesting point, Bunny Man, because like you would think that it would be harder to cheat with open team sheets, right? Yeah, it would be because then you then the opponents can't change their moves between rounds and like yeah. like you know because there's like an honor code and yeah, everything. You, like you you know what the move set's meant to be. Yeah, and personally, I just think it makes for more high scale gameplay but um okay they're running they're going straight wait lunge lunge trailblaze oh this is with aridos oh and i forgot that it learns trailblaze that'll give it something to hit um frost last with i guess it would still be terrible but at least it's not <sighs> like wall yeah, I was running this move set in the last BTW custom mm. uh, meta, and it was interesting. Like, I, w I didn't quite know when to trailblaze and when to lunge. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I was, I was like battling like a ground type, 
and it's like, well, I could trailblaze first, but it doesn't knock out, or I could lunge first to debuff them so that I can then I trailblaze second for the super effective damage. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. it was like super awkward. So may maybe I still need to work on my Aridos play, but yeah, that sounds like a thing that would come with just practice. Like versus Excadrill, let's say. Okay. Would you lunge first so you could tank the rock slide better and then and then um how much does rock slide from shadow excadrill do after a lunge let's see here they're saying you lunge and then the rock slide still okay okay it does 89 percent mm. oof yeah, so you just straight trailblaze with that one. I mean, you could. I, I mean, trailblaze doesn't really help you, I don't think, because you can't poison sting them down. It's a pretty bad matchup for Aridos. Mm. But having the trailblaze is nice, at least, because you do potentially have like win cons later in a game. Like, if you if you do get up like you know a little bit of energy mm. or something, and you have like a slight shield advantage, like you can see here, like. Two trailblazes will knock it out, right? I guess they lunge the second time because it's um, slightly less energy. Um, hey, Sosa. <laughs> hey, Dom. Shout out to Sosa Flow. Check out the Poker Battle Network one on YouTube. Um, and Dominic is saying Megahorn on Aridos with Cross Poison. Uh, we, we definitely prefer lunge. Like, Megahorn, I've seen people run Megahorn to good effect. Because, like, um, but that's only because, like, lunge is so standard and so expected so like if if someone surprises you with a mega horn like they're thinking it's going to be a lunge they don't shoot and then suddenly like they get hit with just this massive chunk of damage and it suddenly puts them on the back foot that's, that's yeah, the advantage of medical always mega horn. run lunge with it um like trailblaze i guess hits like water types and gret so like trailblaze allow adds gives it some flexibility so things like celio you can hit super effective Tentacruel, you don't get walled by anymore. As we already said before, Excadrill, it can give you potential win cons against that. Frostlass, it's like a more balanced move set. Um, but you could definitely run, um, you could definitely run Megahorn too. But I just think mm. this move set is a little more like balanced, mm. let's say. And what about the uh, the the previous standard move set of Lunge Cross Poison? Like, are you getting much out of Cross Poison here? Well, that's what I was saying is like the the trailblaze just helps you with coverage. Yeah, yeah. Cross poison only really hits grass types and fairies, right? Really. And you can hit grass with lunge. The only thing, um, the only, so there's no fairy, I guess. Um, try taking out the space before fairy. No, yeah, no fairies. So no fairies, um, just grass, yeah. and you can pretty much hit all these with lunge, except for jump bluff, which you're probably going to lose to regardless if you have cross mm. poison. So, um, yeah. Sosaflo is saying Shadow Sneak. Um, brings up Gallade as an option, but I think you're still beating Gallade just fine with your standard moveset. Like, because you're res double resisting your Leaf Blade and you're uh, double resisting the close combat as well. Yeah, yeah, you just lunge. You just lunge, yeah. and you could even maybe trailblaze it. I I don't think like those other moves are just inferior. Like, mm. I mean, they're interesting coverage, but I don't think you need it. And like, Cresselia, you want lunge the... as well. Exactly. There's there's psychic types in this meta, and the trailblaze just seems like good coverage. Like with the all the other move sets, like Shadow Sneak is just a shit move, and it's non stab. <laughs> you might as well at least. If you're running a shit move, you might as well boost your attack. And, like, it gives you some flexibility against the crew, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's my so personal preference. Dominic uh, also brought up Skuntank before, and that's looking like a good Pokemon. Where's Skuntank rank ranked on the list? Yeah, basically any of these Dark Poisons look pretty yeah. strong. Um, if you look here by Poison Types, we can look. Um... The skunk tank is the second 32. from is at 32 his i personally like his and quillfish a little better just because of the spaminess of mm. aqua tail and you have flexibility as the second charge move 
plus you could run poison jab if you want or you could decide to run poison sting if you if you so to choose to do that um so how uh their respective matchups against frost last um both lose both don't beat frost last in the ones both do beat it don't don't like it's a it's an IV dependent CMP, mm. but Frostlass outpaces, and the Avalanche does enough to KO with the Powder Snows. So because Crunch is seven six, mm -hmm. right? So you need an energy lead, and you would also need to win CMP. Yeah. In order to win the ones. Um. um what are the what are the attack stats between Coolfish and Skunk Tank? One twenty one. Uh, Skunk Tank looks like Coolfish definitely will cool. win CMP yeah. over Frostlass. So that's that's worth um, knowing. But it does that, pace slower to Dark Ball. Yeah. That in mind. Um, you could potentially run Shadow Ball. Um, I think Dark Pulse is probably better because you do pace slightly quicker to it. Um, but you always have... The, at least you do have the baiting potential here too, mm -hmm. right? With Quillfish. So you can always bait with an Aqua Tail yeah. and then a Dark Pulse is doing 87%. So, I mean, if you get a... If you get a bait, then um, oh, apparently you don't win with a bait. Oh, that's why. Looks like they just barely wow. outpace you. You need a slight energy lead. So that means if you use Quillfish as a safe swap, then they can't counter swap with Glass. Oh, no. I That would be very dangerous. Yeah. Because like one, le one lead just like gives you so many opportunities to bait and like even then you get there in seven right uh you would get there one before so mm -hmm. and you you can technically survive an avalanche like all these dark poisons do win the zeros right mm -hmm. so even if they do counter swap like you're guaranteed to get a shield from them at least uh interesting shadow excadrill says here it's beating galade and shadow galade Because I guess it survives oh, really? a Leaf Blade. Yeah, the Leaf Blade only does 69% from a Shadow. No, that's regular Glade. Uh, Who's your extra drill loses? What are you talking about? Wait, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. I, keep, I, I do that so often. I look at the key losses and think, oh, it's winning. Oh, it's getting destroyed. Yeah, no, it's getting pumped. That's what I would have thought. <laughs> so Mew with Dragon Claw loses to Exodrill. That would be one situation where, like, you could you could run um, Surf um, on your Mew. I think it could be interesting uh, there. And uh, and uh, I will also get, give another shout out to Sosflo who uh, has been making content on Zodiac Cup as well, and I've been meaning to check out those videos. It's on my to do list. He was mentioning one thing earlier, which I was looking at too, because as I said, uh, there's only one ghost eligible in this meta. And keep in mind, though, we didn't we didn't mention yet, Shadow Frostlass mm -hmm. is number nine. So, like, it's it's slightly lower ranked, but um, but uh, you can see. Let's see the. Let me check that quickly. While we just discussed some mm -hmm. of the other the other thing quickly was. Or I wanted to talk about ghost Pokemon, right? Anything with ghost moves. So we've already been talking about Quillfish. Mm. And so Flo brought up Berserker. Berserker, yeah. Very interesting Pokemon. You have the fighting coverage, close combat. So you can really put out a lot of damage into the normal types, even though you lose to some of them. Um, like those are easily flippable, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the amount of damage you can output. Um, you also have the option for Trailblaze if you want it. I don't think you need it, but I think Foul Plage is its lowest energy move, so you probably want to run that. Let's see here. Let's compare the Shadow Frostlass and the regular Frostlass here. So Shadow, this is rank one. Let me put um let me just put default because sometimes people don't have the greatest IVs on their frost because mm -hmm. they want to win CMP potentially, right? Mm -hmm. And also 
Um, probably don't have the greatest IV shadow because my shadow, I have one shadow fossil, it's a really bad IV. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like you do, the shadow allows you to pick up Greedent and um, Shadow Walrin and Tentacruel in the in the ones. Okay. And that's Crunch Greedent Just... as well. And sometimes even with Shadow, you run a triple axel. But you lose the Greedent if you don't run Shadow Balls. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry, Avalanche. Avalanche. So that's a good, good thing to know. Yeah. Triple Axel is insane, though. I was using it in GBL. And, like, if you get, like, you could get, like, a Tentacruel or something to shield, like, a Triple Axel. Mm -hmm. And then you just freaking destroy <laughs> it with a Shadow Ball, like a boosted Shadow Ball. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. <laughs> like, I had a full health Tentacruel. Shield a shield a triple axle and I was like, oh my god, <laughs> this person's about to mob. <laughs> so if you look at the two shield, actually for Shadow Frost Ass beats Shadow Extra Drill in the two shields. Shadow Frost and that's does that mean it just Avalanche or triple axle? Does that mean it just full farms it down? Yeah. So if you throw a fast move, you lose. Interesting. Oh, uh, no, you can throw one. You can throw one, I believe. Yeah. I think you can throw one. Let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. They should shield that. Y yes. And so if you're you running can throw triple one. axle, that's probably easier? <laughs> yeah, we can look at that. Um, uh, let's say you are running... Tomorrow, crazy kid. We're doing that tomorrow. Let's say you run the triple actual. They shield it. Yeah, you come out with 67 energy. You're boosted because the powder snows go from um, nine damage to 11 after a triple axel mm -hmm. jesus christ <laughs> they're doing almost they're doing almost eight percent to this to this poor shadow, poor shadow extra drill. when will shadow you can extra literally drill catch a break and at that point you're boosted you're half health and you have 67 energy <laughs> bro if i was that opponent i'm just gonna top off the battle like please please can we just end it here <laughs> I want to see how yeah, it goes in against Shadow Extra Drill. How, how, how common will that be? Maybe I will. All right, do it. There you Oh, look at Triple Axel also gives you win cons against regular Extra Drill in the, in the ones. Okay. It's, it plays it the same way. This one, you can actually throw both of them if you want. But you just Triple Axel once and you, like, right away, and you just farm it all the way down. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Triple Axel... Crunch Hex. No. <laughs> I think it could be interesting. I don't know. Maybe. I know I was a like you know, not the most um, <laughs> easiest person to talk a, to a about. Bold head to like poking out of the box. <laughs> opposite people like you know opposite move sets for process, but I will say that the triple axle on the shadow is interesting just mm. because of the amount of damage you're outputting. Uh huh. Um, you don't necessarily need the avalanche, and it can give you some interesting win cons like this, right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, for hard. example, versus, like, let's say versus, like, a Shadow Gallade, let's say, right? Yeah, it's really, it's really tough. Let me see here. Yeah. No, that one's still lost. You can't beat the, you can't beat the shadow going triple axel. Mm. Wait a second here. Okay, you can get a simul KO. 
But, I mean, that's also, like, a really good Shadow Glade. This is a rank one, right? So if you put in, like, a default one, um, they looks like they still survive. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely interesting to look at. Uh, I think Extra Drill doesn't look that bad, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there's a, gonna be a lot of those, like, it looks like a lot of those glassy sort of sweeper Pokemon, because if we sort by stat product here... Like, Cresselia is obviously the stat product yeah. king. But if we look at the bottom here, like, some of the glassiest Pokemon, like, <laughs> Kneezler is, like, really highly ranked, right? I think I can just flip this around, actually. I don't think so. No, I can't. Okay. Um, Extra Gel is a highly ranked mm. Pokemon. It's very yeah. glassy, right? Um, Gallade, Gallade. Yeah. right here. So there's going to be a lot of these. Dragonite was already brought up earlier. Mm -hmm seems pretty interesting the thing about dragonite is it has really good two shield matchups into things like cresselia like these pokemon with very little fast move pressure cresselia gallade yeah so you're looking um, at lead with with uh, an extra drill yeah even extra drill i bet you like a dragonite could probably farm down an extra shadow extra drill in great league um would it get to three could. rock slides in time? No, yeah, no, it probably wouldn't get I to three. It. I doubt it. Yeah. So this here beats Shadow Dragonite in the ones, loses the twos really hard. Um, Billy Skinner would like us to look at Frost Slice with Miracote. Um, can you tell me where uh, Billy Skinner is talking from? <laughs> because I might have to go uh, ban that motherfucker. <laughs> Copium. Yeah. Um, Alolan Mark seems to have a very, very even matchup against all the other dark poisons. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah, it's really, I like uh, yeah. I do like the Dragonite a lot too. Just quickly on yeah, that point. On. Um, other the only things that worry me are like the because I do see like a couple ice types kicking around here, mm. um, like Celio, Walren, um, obviously. Uh, Frost Last is up a bit for high, higher. And um, the other thing that, like, only other thing that worries me a little bit is uh, any of the Poison Jab users. And um, Triple Axel would be better in the Dragonite matchup, wouldn't it? Uh, you don't need you don't need it for... Frost Last just farms down Dragonite regardless, because it's double super effective. Right, 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 right. Dragonair, it, yeah. it was useful, but there, um, yep. the Dragonite, it doesn't really matter. Yep. Um, but like, if you look at your poison jabs, like Tentacruel, Quillfish, that some of these dark things could be are like anything with fast move pressure. That, that's the stuff you yep. got to worry about with with uh, Dragonite, right? So, what's the Frostlass Tenta matchup like? Typically favorable for Tentacruel, um, just because. Poison Jab does better fast move damage. Mm -hmm. And Scald is just insane. So it looks like here you can see uh, it's got a 700 win rate against Frostlass and a 534 against Shadow Frostlass. Um, so. So. Uh Zion brought up a point before that uh, we never got around to, and I'm thinking about Cresselia again. Um, double nuke, Moonblast, and Future Sight. Because, like, you need Future Sight against something like a Tentacruel. You need Moonblast for, like, your Dark Poisons. I and mean, you, you can always grasp not Tentacruel, right? But yeah, I could see, I could see a benefit of it. Um... I just think, I don't know. I'm I'm just like boring. I would probably not do it. <laughs> you, I think you just do f fine enough. Like it, it says here the the battle ratings five, whatever, right? Like, um, grass knot does help you with with um, some of the ground types, right? Mm -hmm. Specifically, like extra drill yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, that's so, the biggest thing. And like, all not gonna lie, the frost last matchup becomes a lot worse. If you don't have yeah. the grass knot, because True. it's like a little spammier, right? So, mm. and there are, I mean, I don't hate that. Mm. I definitely could see maybe depending on the team you're building, right? You can always build your 
your move set based on the team you're building too yeah um but in general i think the the, the grass on moves busk is the more ge best generalist move yep. set but i could see an argument for it for sure future side hits really hard like things like Greedent that like typically beat Cresselia in this meta, like they're it's not as comfortable if they are running Future Sight. Like you can see here, mm -hmm. like a Future Sight does forty five percent, so like it's really hitting. Whereas like if you have Moonblast, it's only doing thirty four percent, right? Yeah. So huge difference. And um, Future Sight with the Psycho Cuts would take it into the yellow, wouldn't it? Uh, pardon? Uh, future Sight with the Psycho Cuts would take the green into the yellow, I would think. If the Future Sight's doing 45, like Psycho Cuts would have to be doing more than 5%. Like once you, by the time you get to the Future Sight. Yeah, I know the moves are hidden, but you also can't change your move, right? So you just have to, I mean, if you run into a, if your team's weak to extra drill, then you def, you know, I mean, you might want that coverage, but... Future Sight on what? Tentacruel? Like, probably one-shots it. Like, uh, Probably just survives. Um, I mean, maybe with the Psycho Cut damage. Does 76%. Ooh. Yeah, that's does a lot. less than what I thought. <laughs> uh, well, that's like, less, less than, than what you would want. I mean, Psycho Cuts are doing 2%. 2 like, it basically one-hits it. Yeah. You so, just get a couple Psycho Cuts in there. What is it? It's 8... Psycho cuts to a future site? Yeah, it's eight to the first one and then it's yeah. seven to the ones after that. So by the time you get to the first future site, you're doing uh four point six, nine point you'll, two. You'll you'll CMP on a eighteen point four. Eighteen point four percent damage. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Tentacruel's pretty bulky, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's got like a it's got a pretty good stat product, so So I'm feeling Makes like to... like Excadrill is like pretty important because the, like there's so many Pokemon that it can hit so hard. Yeah, ground type. There is quite a few ground types in the meta. Um, obviously the worst one being Ursaluna. Um, <laughs> Take that, Ursaluna. Keep in mind, uh, uh, Sandslash also has the option of running um, Sand Attack if you do want to. For some reason. <laughs> I think it's not that different, right? You pick up yeah. a little bit of damage for one... You might be honestly better. Like, I'm not going to lie. Same yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's possible, yeah. It's like half a... Half a, an energy less per turn or something. For one damage. Yeah. And and you also get stab mm -hmm. on on it too, right? Mm -hmm. So I mean, picks up a win, the sand attack. What's that win? It's interesting. Probably against probably against Mudshot to uh, um, sand slash. Does it show me down here or no? No, you gotta. I think you gotta. Click battle again. I don't know what's what are the wins. <laughs> Anyways, whatever. Uh, could be something interesting. I like Shadow Sand Slash. It's like a fun pick, but it just seems like Extra Jill's better, probably because of the Steel subtyping, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Um. Because, like, Sand Slash probably just gets destroyed by things like, uh... I mean, you do have Night Slash, though. At least for the Cresselia, right? Yeah. How many Night Slashes does it take to take out a Chris? I guess Extra Drill's better into, like, the Grass types. Um, right? So, like, some like a Jump Law for something, you, you got a bit better coverage there, so... Mm -hmm. 
Um, I do like Shadow X. Maybe I will run Shadow X or Drill on my team. Probably like something like Shadow X or Drill and Cresselia seem like they're like a good pair together mm. because, just because like Cresselia just adds that nice bulk to the team that you might need, right? Um, uh, Amber's bringing up Cradilly. So it's going to yeah, struggle there is a... against some stuff. Yeah. Uh, Cradilly is down here. It's pretty low, actually. Um, but it does beat Cresselia. It beats Extra Drill. It beats Frostless mm. in the ones. Yeah, that's that's good. I always have... The thing I have problem with these types of matchups is... Uh, okay, this one... The Shadow apparently does beat Frostless in the twos. Why is that throwing a grass knot in the end? For style points. <laughs> Okay, so Cradilly does beat Frostless in the twos. That's good to know. It's probably because of the when they added Rock Slide, right? Yeah. It's like spamier now. Yeah. So let's check this. Sh triple Axel. So. Shadow Boom. <laughs> you can farm down the Cradilly with Triple Axel. Another reason for Triple Axel. I mean, Shadow Triple Axel still does 53% to Cradilly, but the Avalanche does 80%, so... Yeah, I mean, it, Cradilly is one of those weird picks where it does it, it does have an ice weakness, but it's also has, like, most ice types are weak to either rock mm. or grass, right? Because yeah. some of them are part water. So it's not, like, that bad of a matchup. I don't know. It could be interesting. I'm not sure why it is ranked so low. Like some of these things, I guess it loses pretty hard to Gallade. Yeah. Maybe that's why it is ranked so low. But Pinsir, like, who the fuck's running Pinsir? <laughs> like, unless this is your favorite Pokemon, I don't see why you would run this thing. Like, you know what? It probably beats Cresselia and Gallade. It doesn't beat Shadow Gallade. It, it barely really... beats Cresselia. Wow. The regular the barely moves, beats Cresselia. Losing. No, it doesn't resist Moonblast. No, I'm talking about Gallade. Like, it's resisting both moves from Gallade. And it's still losing. Pinsir doesn't resist any moves. I'm sorry to break it to you. <laughs> Pissuing Electro. Pissuing Electrode. Down to number 71. You are managing to beat Tentacruel. Losing like like hell to Shadow Excadrill. Losing to Glade. How does it do against Cresselia? I don't oh, I'm not not a fan of this. Yeah, I think honestly, like looking at this meta, I think it's gonna revolve around like um a lot of like mm. Ground, there's a dark, lot of and frostless and, and well the there's a lot picks. of Pokemon that can that can output like a lot of charge move pressure. Yeah. Like spammy charge move pressure, like Gallade, Extra Drill, mm. and stuff like that. But then there's also like Pokemon like um there's quite a few dragons mm -hmm. that I think are gonna be really putting a lot and like poison jabbers. That are really putting a lot of fast move pressure right there. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be interesting to see how that dynamic shapes. Um, the one thing that remains constant is just you're you're gonna want to have Cresselia on your team, just because it's gonna be that bulky generalist that can kind of just like soak damage so that your blast cannons can kind of mm -hmm. do their thing, right? Aridos, yeah, Aridos does have plenty of play. We have taken Yeah, Aridos does look, look good. We have already talking about it. Um Dragonite looks interesting. Rapidosh is kind of cool. Yeah. I, it does have the fire typing, so you you do it says here Rapidosh beats uh Tentacruel because of the drill run. That's you do cool. beat Cresselia because you wall its moveset if it's not running future site, right? Um and that Gallade and would probably be playable. I feel like you can probably just farm it down in the twos. Not quite. This is regular Gallade, though. 
Shadow Glade, you probably can. And you're also shielding grass leaf blades, right? Mm -hmm. Which is gross. I do like Rapidash, like as yeah. a Pokemon, it's fun. Um, again, you really gotta worry, watch out for the dragons. Is Shadow Rapidash is a thing? No, not yet. Damn, one of these days, though. <laughs> Shadow Incinerate. There's no Shadow Incinerators, uh, are there? Oh, there's Typhlosion. Yeah, Typhlosion is a Shadow Incinerator. The Shadow Incinerator. Mm -hmm. What about Munchlax? We haven't looked much at that yet. With Lick. Yeah, I mean, it's recommending Tackle. I'm not sure. So I think either or could work. Tackle does seem pretty decent, but uh, Lick could help you in other situations as well. I'm not Lick sure. Helps you against um, Gallade. Yeah, nah, still. I mean, you're doing more damage with Lick before you get pounded by close combat. Close combat doing 99%. Well, I thought Munchlax was bulkier than that. No, it's Glade just hits yeah. that hard, man. Yeah, yeah. It has nothing to do with. It has nothing to do with bulk. Glade just insane. Mm -hmm. But if you correctly make shield calls, uh, it can leave the your, your you can leave it can leave you in really awkward situations. If you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't land like a big move or opponent like correctly shields and then like can somehow fast move you down or something then you're left with, like, a basically a full health Pokemon you have to deal yeah. with. Yeah. That is the downside of Glade, is not having any um, of the fast move pressure, right? It ain't taking no shit. Yeah. Um... What, what provides a lot of fast move pressure? This was mainly what I was looking at was like the dragons and yeah. the poison jabbers. Um, that's pretty much it. There's no charmers, right? There's no fairies. Yeah, poison jabbers. So wireless versus D Knight. What about it? Uh, what are the advantages of disadvantages of each? The uh, this wireless generally does better against your dark poisons, doesn't it? Um, because it's like resisting crunch yes. from Stun Tank, Dark Pulse from from Muck, Aquatail, and Dark Pulse from the Cool Fish. Zwilus is a little bulkier. It is a little obviously. bulkier. Um. Looks like with baiting, Cresselia can 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 still win the twos here. So that's something to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty Is sure Shadow against, Dragonite. Um, Dragonite as well. No, you just because you outpace. Yeah. To Dragon Claws and you with the Dragon Breath, breath damage, you just put it in range. Like yeah. you don't have to worry about baiting like a um anything, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, basically. I don't know. There, there's definitely pros and cons. Um, like any of those, like, um, Lick users or Shadow Claw users, like a Mew or something. Obviously, these wireless would be really nice against. So, um, there's definitely is pros and cons to running to running that Pokemon. Um, you, you have a little better play into some of the ice types, like, like uh, Frostlass and such. Because you're not getting absolutely mm -hmm. destroyed yeah. by Powder Snow's yeah. damage. 
Like that that's one of the Pokemon that can beat Frostlass in the ones, right? If it's not running triple axel. Oh, uh, no. they need a bait. They yeah. need a bait, but I don't even know if it does if it can. Because well, they get to they get to body slam and avalanche at the same time. So I don't think they can get to a Dark Pulse and bait. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's a little slow. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, there is some grass types here. We have Celio or Septile, sorry. <laughs> um, could be interesting. Celio is right above it, I guess. Um, um, Psycho Cut from Fury... Galay does 8.2% to Sneasler. Yeah, that's why I was thinking Sneasler is not really a counter to like a later. No. Um, or Cresselia. Cresselia, right? <laughs> See, I like Jump Fluff, but the problem with Jump Fluff is that, like, it's really only there as a very very hard Gallade counter like it's not doing that well against much else right all your poison jabbers are beating it frostlass is beating it Griselia, it's a pretty even matchup you are winning but narrowly. Got your Ariados. Um. How does Berserker do against um, Glade? Berserker? Hmm. <laughs> uh, it's probably a, bait, a little bait dependent. If I had to guess. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you, you're just throwing straight power plays against it. Well, I meant for the Glade, right? Uh, right, right, right. Because if you try and throw, like, straight close combat, what's happening there? Then you get farmed down. Oh, Shadow Claws. Shadow Claws do a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, if you if you are willing to double shield that, you come out with practically full health and 51 mm -hmm. energy. So Malamar is also an interesting pick as well, now that I'm, uh, something I'm looking at here. Because you do have that fighting superpower and the dark type. It's always mm -hmm. a little underwhelming to me. That's why, like, I was like excited about the Psy wave. Like, I thought it was they were gonna make it a good move, but uh, they might in future. I mean, what's the point of releasing a garbage move into the game? Yeah, I don't know. Have I, to don't, ask I don't get it. <laughs> like, like the move is actually horrible. Yeah, yeah. It, it will never be used. No, so, it might what, get a buff in future. So, okay, it might get a buff in the future, but like, there's literally bugs in the game that are not working right things features uh -huh. that are not working and apparently they are they don't have enough employees <laughs> and they're literally spending freaking time developing a, a move that's complete garbage like someone had to make like a visual effects <laughs> and the audio sound for yeah. this move you do realize that right yeah for something that no one will ever use yeah no so i don't get it i no, mean I that's why i just I quick little rant how about that bullshit? <laughs> you and me should run the company. I mean, we'd probably do a better job, but oh yeah, we. I've uh, I've got a lot of a lot of experience running billion dollar companies. Me too. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I don't think like there's anything crazy here. Um, there might be some interesting like sort of like off meta picks, but 
I don't know. It doesn't seem like it seems like a lot of them are just sort of like lateral moves. A bit yeah. lower, but Okay, we always talk about Kingdra, right? We do. Kingdra always sims lower than it than it is, right? Because the first Doctor Zuka doesn't debuff or Right, doesn't debuff yeah. in the Sims. So I mean that's something that you could you could think about. Like let's say for, for instance for Shadow Galade here. If this Octazuka fires, then it wins. Mm -hmm. Then it beats Shadow Galade, mm -hmm. even tanking a close combat. So, I mean, that is something to consider. I think Kingdra, because we were talking about fast move pressure, mm -hmm. you are relying a little bit on some RNG, right? Mm -hmm. But some of these matchups, like, it can definitely flip. Yeah. Um, because of that Octazuka, like, uh, being able to, to go off here. Like, I you think, barely um, lose to Extra Drill now. And, uh, and Kingdra's going to smack the crap out of a Rapidash. Oh, it will, yeah. It's putting Shadow Star Raptor here under um under fast move pressure. Oh, uh, maybe because of Gust? Oh, well, it's recommending wing attack. I mean Shadow Star Raptors, what why you you could search fast move pressure? Hmm. I mean, when you've got, like, the Poison Jabbers and yeah. the Dragon Breathers here, I don't know, Wing Attack isn't quite the same. Like, it's more en oh, energy Oh, Dolphin damage. also knows Charm, right? It does. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Just keep, it, keep that in mind. I, I will mean, keep it's, that it's, in mind. It's garbage. It's garbage. <laughs> it, I... I imagine Buck Don Fan would be, like, medic. a very targeted Pokemon. Like, you, if you if you want to run Don Fan with Charm, you're running it purely to get it locked in against your dragons or your Glade. Of course. Because then you're like, you're not beating Excadro anymore, eh? Hell no. <laughs> um, you're not beating Excadro. Probably a better, bit better matchup against Frostlass, obviously. Um... This is such a weird meta, like in, in a good way, um, because there's like, it, yeah, like, like we've already alluded to, it's like Pokemon that are super spammy with lots of shield pressure and do great with an energy lead or mm -hmm. like that can be countered by a Pokemon with a lot of fast move pressure that can two shield your way through it. But then like, you've, you've also got to be careful because you can't do that for all the Pokemon. So, like, if you two-shield your way through a Gallade with Dragonite, like, and then they bring out Excadrill as well, like, yeah, you're, you're going to be in a, a bit of trouble. Yeah. And then there's also this Cresselia that's looming there as just, like, the only thing that can really soak up a bunch of energy, and I guess jump up as well. Yeah, and if you use all your shields, and then they do have... And then they have the Cresselia to absorb all your energy. Yeah. And then they have a Shadow Excadrill on the back. Then you're fucked, right? You're fucked. So Majorly, yeah. A, a two-shielded Shadow Excadrill is just going to rip through your team. Like... Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah, so yeah it seems really very weird. interesting. Yeah. Very I'll have to work to on a team. When did it start? It's already started this month? The Zodiac, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, Pallet Town's got their uh, Zodiac Cup starting in a couple of days, so I will chuck in the link to. Have the you been Discord joining server. that? Have I been what? Partaking? In Devon? Yeah, totally. I've, do, in the I've just been doing one? one a month. I've just been doing the um, the Pallet Town ones. How come you're not doing the BTW ones? Nah, it's 
nothing against BTW. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, I'll just do one a month. I, like, for Silph, I was doing like six a month, and that took a lot of time. Yeah, you can do two a month, little bro. You can do two. <laughs> you can do BTW. Hasn't BTW's already started? No. No? Okay. I'll, I'll think about it. It starts on the 13th. No, okay. There you go. I will think about it hard. Yeah, we got some wicked, we got some awesome people signed up. Let's see how many people we got signed up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people signed up. Let me sign up right now. <laughs> Nine people signed up. All right, well, last I checked, Pallet Town had like 18. Well, I mean, <laughs> who's in the Pallet Town one? Let me see here. Yeah, oh, here we go. You got, who's this person? That shit. <laughs> What? <laughs> I'm just wondering who does these tournaments in the Pallet Town uh, Discord. I'm just curious. Where do you even have it? It's in competition announcements. That's a weird spot for it. I beg to differ. Oh, you do have quite a few people in here. Oh, uh, one other question I had before we end. I thought this was supposed to be some sort of ranked... Thing. Uh, by the way, I think someone's saying hi to you in chat. Yep, I uh, said hi back. Very good. Um, I thought this was supposed to be a rank thing, right? Mm. Like, is there rankings or something for for this? Yeah, yeah, it's being kept track of in the background, but um, it's taking a while for the like ranking page and algorithm to to be finalized by the Drake of his guys. Oh, okay, because I won the BTW Sovereign last month. So, <laughs> so I won my. And I can't remember how. I can't remember how well I did in the earlier one. What was the first one called? The uh, oh shit, the <laughs> um, Kingdom was it? Knockout, no. right? Knockout. That's it. I don't think I did that great. I did four and two. That's yeah, alright. I think one of them I had to concede. Not really. A week because of time. Because uh, it was it was right after Charlotte regionals, and I was like traveling and stuff, and I was I just won like a regional. I was like, well, fuck, I don't I don't really care about this uh, this battle. Like you you can just take it like. I'm, I'm not going to waste my time with this <laughs> this stuff, so. Alright. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you are still yeah, around, no we will be doing a breakdown of Spring Cup in Go Battle League at the same start time tomorrow. So join us for that. Do you have any quick thoughts on it before we get there? No. No? Good. Okay. Thank you, Lyle. Uh, let's see, we got... Uh, do you want to raid uh, Mish Champ? Mish Champ? Who the fuck's Mish Champ? Uh, they mean Mish? Yeah, Mish. You can raid Mish, yeah, sure. It's not Mish Champ, it's just Mish. Okay, so what's the CHMP? I don't know, but we don't <laughs> pronounce it, okay? You Gen Z. Good night, Frey Am Amber. Frey Amber is in the BTW Discord now, so maybe she'll join the uh, Zodiac Cup yeah. in the BTW Discord. Maybe. Right. Uh, it's slash, isn't it? Not exclamation mark. Uh, slash. Yeah, I think it's slash. Read. M X C H M P. Hopefully, that was the right combination of letters. This channel is intended for mature audiences, people. Yeah, she swears a lot. <laughs> Big motor. I don't know if she does. No, she doesn't swear that much. I don't know. I'm I'm the swearer. I'm the swearer. <laughs> All right. Catch you tomorrow. Okay. Peace out, everybody.